What's going on, music producers? It's DJ Khaled the Curtis King. Another one. What's going on, music producers? It's the weekend of Curtis King B Stop. Another one. What's going on, music producers? It's Curtis King at CurtisKingBeats.com, and I'm here today to show you the guilt-free way of using melodic loops from Splice. Yes, I'm going back on my word. So I got an apology for Cash J. Music producers, a few weeks ago, I did a video. Okay, hold on. That basically was a reaction video to a producer named Cassius J. Cassius J showed his formula for making 10 beats a day by using melodic loops on Splice and basically just kind of bringing sounds together, some from track outs from other producers and making pretty much his own composition with these sounds. Now, initially when I saw that, I was like, nah, fam, that can't be the way that we making music now. And then he said straight up, he said, man, this is trap music. And so I thought about it and I still was like, hell no. Nah. And in that video, I declared, I will never use melodic loops in my life. I play my own keys. I'm completely original. I don't want to hear nothing somebody else played in North Dakota. And then I thought about the contradiction of my ways. It got me thinking, damn it, have I turned into the OG that is stubborn about my creative process? I want to let you know that over the last few weeks, I've been doing some soul searching, specifically on Splice.com. And I came across some beautiful, oh glorious, beautiful piano loops and roads. The first thing that came to mind was the same thoughts that I used to have when I was a what? A sample producer. And then I started thinking, okay, what are my major problems with using melodic loops? The first thing being, well, every other producer has access to it. As if producers didn't have access to the very same Diana Ross samples that I was using. Oh. Well, it's not original. Well, how original was sampling? What made it original? What made it original was my chops. Another one. The effects that I added over it. Another one. And pretty much the manner in which I repurposed it for my beats. Another one. So why couldn't I do that with somebody else's piano loop or roads that happen to be on a splice midi loop? What a contradiction I am. How can I sit here and talk about Cassius J process of taking melodic loops, repurposing them, and then inverting the loops? And I was pretty much doing the same thing when it came to drum loops or even sample loops. What's the difference? One was made in 2008. 18, the other one was made in 1942, so I'm better? Somebody gonna have to tell the truth and I'm gonna tell it. It's time for me to call myself on my own bull. Another one. I'm using melodic loops. And that being said, I think I found a few ways for me to basically use these melodic loops without feeling so ugh inside. First things first, here we are in FL Studio. Here's the piano loop that I found off of Splice.com, which by the way, go use my affiliate link down there because whenever y'all sign up and use my affiliate link, your bands gets 100 credits and I get to spaz out on some drums and now melodic loops. Anyways, back to the sample. So I drug this particular melodic sample right here on the playlist. This is what it sounds like. The first way that I could sort of mess around with this is I could actually sample it within Slicer. I mean, that's super easy to show. Taking it off D-click, auto fit, auto dump, play to the end. Take the sample, drag it over to FL Slicer. Take the auto slicing low threshold all the way down. Take the high threshold down. So now I have all these separate chops. so I can play them in different orders, and I don't feel so bad about this. Then again, I know it's one of y'all out there. I don't know which one it is. All thirsty on the keyboard. Probably gonna say something like, well, it still sounds like the original. I say, shut up, watch this. Take the pitch wheel, pull that down to about 400. You can even slow it down by using this other wheel, which is basically, it stretches the sample. Go down, it goes faster, go up, it goes slower. So now listen to it. So that's if you want to chop the actual master recording of that original sample. Go ahead and do that. You can put your own variations on that. I guarantee you, if you get creative enough, it won't sound like anybody else who has access to this particular sound. Now, the next way and the way that I'm super, super excited to show you how to vary up and to have a guilt-free process when you're using these melodic loops is basically do this. First of all, we still got this loop open. We're going to drag this all the way here and this is actually in the same bpm as our session which is 130 we drag that loop it around
Now, basically, I need to find what those chords are. I am not a musician by trade. I know how to make beats. I know what sounds good. However, FL Studio has some tools that you can use in here that maybe you knew about or maybe you didn't know about that can show you what at least the root key is. And that's all we need to start building these chords. We want to do is go to the master track here on the mixer, go to slot one, and then go to Edison. Once Edison is open, go back here to the channel rack, Take this piano loop, drag it, push that stop button. We can do one of two things. If you want to know what those notes are, just by looking at it, push control A and then click on that tool right here and detect pitch regions. Now we see which each one of those, at least the root keys are in this. So in order to get a more accurate look at what this is and actually to hear what these keys are to make sure that they're accurate, what you want to do is go to the channel rack again. Make sure this box is highlighted by the green by clicking on it. This is the FL keys. Once we have that, we want to do is go back here, right click, go to tools and then convert to score and dump to piano roll. Boom. Now check this out. Now we gotta go ahead and toy around with this. Go ahead and listen to what I'm doing. We're gonna find these right keys. Check it out. So now that we got the root note, what we can do is use this program called Scalar, which is one of our sponsors today. Thanks to the good people at Plug In Boutique who just bless your man with this for free. Look, you do the right thing and all of a sudden you got these folks wanting to give you these programs for free. That's what's up. Anyways, here we are at the FL Keys. Now we have the notes. Here's what we got to do. We're going to take this and first of all, see if it's accurate because we want to do is basically go to the playlist. This is pattern one. Let's go back here to the view playlist and drag it and see if it's accurate. And the way that I would do that is basically take it an octave down and then compare it to the sample we have. Ah, uh, there it goes. Sometimes you got to mess around with it and see which keys it actually is. Now that we have at least the root note of this particular piano loop. Now we can go unleash the power, the beast that is known as freaking Scalar. Oh my gosh. So I know many of you already have probably heard about Scalar, but for those who don't know what it is, this is the ultimate cheat sheet when it comes to building up chord progressions. And I even hate calling it a cheat sheet because some of y'all take that and be like, we'll just learn music theory. And I'm like, shut up. You just go make a beat. Stop trying to tell everybody what to do with their life. So basically Scalar is like, imagine that you have a chord helper for every single step of the process that you're making a beat. So as you have these root notes right here, imagine there's a plugin that can basically detect those notes and then show you possible scales and possible chords that will fit along with what you're trying to do. Even give you a hint what scale would work best based upon the mood that you want to have. Let's stop talking about it. So first and foremost, let's get familiar a little bit with Scalar. Now it tells you, detect. It has a detect feature that basically would detect those root notes, those keys that we just had. It'll detect the notes first and then it'll start generating some scales scales and chords for you. What? Yes. Let's go back here to the pattern mode. Let's grab this control C, mute this, and then put it over in Scalar. So now Scalar has its own piano that'll play right now. So that's Scalar that's playing it. it, has its own piano. Now that we have the keys that we detected from FL Studio, what we want to do is use a detect feature on Scalar. So go to start, and then once you start playing, it's going to automatically recognize the keys. Watch this.
look at what you get initially just by playing those keys. It's showing you the detected scales based upon what you want this to sound like, what kind of vibe you want. It'll even tell you, look, if you want to scale a bright, light, happy, positive, here's the major scale you're going to be messing around with. So in the order that we did that, let's look and see what that would sound like. So it's E flat, and then you got your D flat, you see? C again, then the B flat. So it gave you those variations based upon that. So after you find a scale that you can kind of agree with and you kind of want to mess around with, what you want to do next, look over here. They have a few different voicings or the way that you're going to hear these particular chords. And it shows you a different couple of styles and a different couple of tones that are basically accompany that particular chord progression that you're working on. Then we need to go up an octave. Sound like we can almost play. So what we want to do now is go ahead and put it in the order that we have it here. So now that we drug these particular chord progressions, check what we got. So now we have a variation upon the initial piano loop that we were working with that just started off as a sample. Now this is starting to become yours. It doesn't sound like the original, but the original was where you started from. It was your foundation. Cool. Scalar allows you to now take this. We can go here back to the channel rack, drag that bad boy over there. And now we can take these chords that we put together and use this export MIDI feature and then drag it over here to FL keys. Now we have all those keys that we were just working on. So we want it to be in time with what we already had in terms of that original sample. So we're going to need to go over here to the playlist mode and then work on it like this. So obviously we're going to have to drag this bad boy back a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and play it by ear. We're going to just basically make sure that these chords are in timing and they may not be perfect in terms of going along with the original sample, but at least we'll have a foundation to work with. So boom. Scaler. Scaler still playing, my bad. So let's see what it sounds like now that we have it in timing with the original loop. Oh, actually, let me stretch this one out. So my bad. Now it's not perfect, but what we can do is keep messing around with it.
Look at DJ Khaled Kurt with the cores, though. So now that we have that, we can even see what it sounds like along with it. Sometimes you get over lucky and it actually sounds good with the original sample. Let's see what that sounds like, though. This might sound like poop, so please excuse me if it's stinking here. Come on now. You could use this actually for a few different features and shout out to the people from Plugin Boutique because Scalar is all about the user. If you think Scalar is cheating, you probably old cheating ass producer. Yes, they do have pre-made loops that you can go ahead and mess around with, but here's the thing about it. If you don't know music theory and if you don't know how to put chords together, isn't this a great teacher of that? Well, because of this Scalar plugin, look dude, you can go down through here, pick a particular genre if you wanted to, like say Neo Soul. Now you got some Neo Soul chords. Now say I want Neo Soul and I want it to come from, say, Andre Tuhi. I already hear something special in that. These are the presets. What if you sample a little bit of these chords and then make your own variation? Then it starts to become yours. Producers, stop feeling so damn guilty using these tools that help us advance as producers. Some people say, well, it makes us lazy. Some people say, well, it's going to make a producer out of anybody. Look, it is not the gear. It is the ear. I've met producers that have $10,000 worth of equipment and can't find a damn on switch. It ain't about what they got access to, fam. This makes our work so much easier so that we can get to doing what we love to do the most, which is making music. That's why I did that interview with Crucial Keys. He said, I don't know who made the rule that music had to be difficult. Isn't it supposed to be fun? I don't know. Maybe I'm talking crazy and out my ass. Now, if you're interested in getting Scalar, go down to that affiliate link that I have in my description. It's only 49 bucks. It's something that could definitely change your process and make it even crazier. You saw what I did with just the FL keys. Imagine if you got Omnisphere. Another one. Imagine if you got Serum. Another one. Imagine if you got Salinth and you can just take those chord progressions, those lush chord progressions, and put it through your favorite pad. Bro, life could be beautiful. I know everybody's process is different. I look at this and say, thank you, technology. Thank you to the developers who took hours and hours of time to put this together to make my life easier. And I got the nerve to complain about, yeah, this is cheating. The plugin is in the eye of the beholder, my friends. Stop letting these producer rules rule your life. Have fun. Get back to doing what you're doing. I've changed my stance. Yo, Cash is J. I am sorry, my friend. Although I have no reason to make 10 beats a day, these melodic loops that I'm finding may be the best thing that has ever happened to me and my lack of melodic game. Stop complaining. Take the technology for what it is. If you don't want it, leave. Easy as that. Once again, this is Curtis King, Curtis King Beats.com. Peace. Please subscribe to the channel below. Curtis King, Curtis King Beats.com.